Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Figuratively Speaking. Tonight, I'm going to be talking about Origins Wave 12. And here we go. So, Origins Wave 12, there's a certain similarity to this wave. I don't know if it was intentional by Mattel or not. And I'm not sure if anybody else has actually noticed it or not. I think it's a very cool wave. But I have some likes and some dislikes about this wave. Well, about the figures in the wave, not the wave itself. So you got Tongue Lasher, Hypno from Rulers of the Sun, Snake Armor Skeletor. And mini comic Roboto. All fantastic figures. But again, there's some things that I don't like. And one of them in particular is the first one I'm going to bring up, as he is the one that I find to be the one that is most problematic to me. And that would be although a very cool figure and a very welcome figure but I am definitely going to have to do some customization to this figure to get him the way that I actually want him. And that would be Hypno. Now I'm going to wait until the end and see if anybody notices what the what all four of these characters in this wave have in common. I would have been happy with Hypno just having the Falcon on a personal note. His hypnotizing lollipop I could do without. Although I do like the pinwheel action to it. But again, um, no. His Spaceball One helmet. He would have been better just like this. No helmet. He looks like Lord Candy Corn with that ha with with this helmet on, and I don't like it. I just absolutely can't stand this helmet. It not great. However, the Silver Hawk. I really do like. However, I wish it was more than just silver. Eagle, hawk, um, falcon, whatever. Uh, I'll go with a silver hawk because I like silver hawks. Um, I've got a couple more of these on the way just by themselves so that I could do my Zor and Screech paint job on both of those. And I have to pop the head off because this is my very next complaint. <coughs> if you take a very close look 
at this head sculpt. The head sculpt is fine. However, the way the eyes are done. Now, mind you, his name is Hypno. But he looks like he done either smoked a big fatty or hypnotized himself with his lollipop because his eyes are sagging and he looks stoned. If I compare him to any other figure, even from Mas Rulers of the Sun or Masters of the Universe or Masters of WWE, no other figure looks like this. Maybe it's the paint job. Maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments. I do, however, like... The sculpted hair and I do like the sculpted headband. The headband actually reminds me of the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat from Masters of the WWE uh, with, with that being said. I don't know if Mattel was actually trying to go for a let's say an Egyptian uh, old Egyptian type look or maybe uh, Aztec look um, but this definitely does not work. He, with that helmet on, he looks like he came fresh off a of Spaceball one. And that's the last time I'll bring that up because I will not display him with that helmet. That helmet's ridiculous. The other thing is, is that even if you go to look at any other rulers of the sun figure all of the stars on the boots are painted his are not now it could be possibly just my figure but i've got two of them and neither one of those stars on the boots have a yellow star i think it would have been a more attractive look to it the other is if you do not have this figure and or any of the other um, rulers of the sun, say Sun Man in particular, or uh, any of the other figures, the skin tone on Sun Man is a much better and he th this particular come out of the rulers of the sun three pack so he comes very very close to the skin color skin tone on this however this is the skin tone that i'm i, I I'm, I'm not happy with the way the skin tone looks one because i've never seen this skin tone on anybody personally um, and I'll explain why I say that. Uh, now, this is a little bit more glossy, so maybe this is why this is. But I'm definitely going to have to do some custom work to this, where I didn't have, I wouldn't have to do custom work to this for the skin tone, because this is a very nice melanin and it's uh, flat, so it's 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 not glossy. This has a little bit of a sheen to it, but what really makes makes it not a great skin tone to me is because it's not just my lighting. I've looked at this in my lighting down here. I've looked at it in the lighting upstairs. I've looked at the lighting in the sun. And even my kids say the same thing. This skin tone is not it's got a sheen of like a greenish hue on this brown. It's not a true brown. It looks like a Tootsie Roll come out the other end. And I'm going to leave it at that. It's, it, it's, I, I just don't like it. However, I do like the orange and yellow sash and I like the orange and yellow here and I love the orange here but there's no yellow to set off that boot and on the bracers again there's the yellow and orange on the bracers 
But my other complaint is, is that even he has storage on his back. Look at how thin his hypnotic lollipop is. I'm going to keep calling it that because that's what it looks like. It looks like a lollipop. If I wanted to try and store it like that, then it fits great, but then it's not right. It just flops around. The hole is way too big. Don't like it. Other than that, the buck is great. He moves well. He's got all of the articulation you expect. The hair sculpt is great. Um, again, the headband is great. The arm bracers, the loincloth uh, with the star, uh, not star, uh, diamond belt is great. I do, again, like the thing here, but putting this on him, again, Spaceball 1 or um, Candy Corn Man, I... No helmet. That helmet's crap. Other than that, I have no complaints about this character. Uh, a welcome addition, but once again, the helmet and the lollipop <laughs> cut it. Again, I'd have been happy. Just like that. That's all I would have needed. Silver Hawk in this and a star, yellow star on his boots. Enough about hitting though. Other than that, um, great job, Mattel. Now, on to my next. Mini Comic Roboto. I have nothing to complain about with this character. He comes with his full armament, his blaster gun, his axe, And his pincher claw hand, robotic hand. And it's fantastic. He also has this heart over his gears, which is really cool. The orange um, I like it with this Roboto. And the yellow. I'm going to assume that's uh, cybernetic pants, uh, loincloth, whatever. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be a clothy material or anything. I might be wrong. And I love the silver on the thighs, and I love the silver for the boots. And of course, his helm and uh, the armament. It's pretty cool. I have no complaints about Roboto. If you twist him just right, you can get him to sit just like that where uh, you can see the black underneath the, I guess you'll want to call that a mouthpiece. And I can deal with that. that that's really cool. And, of course, I think you should be able to hear that. I, overall, I, I, I cannot complain about this particular figure. Um, he's got 
a red hand, which is very, very cool. And he's got all the different robotic um, wires and tubes and whatnot and whatever on the arms, which you could see if I dim my light there. It's a very, very cool figure, and I'm very happy with Roboto. Even on the hand, you can see the intricate detail work that Mattel did with that. Very good job, Mattel, with Roboto. Mini comic. Cannot complain about mini comic at all. My favorite figure out of this line I'm going to do last. So my only complaint, quite literally, about this particular figure is the sword. I can only display this sword being held one way as due to the hollowness of this. One side is completely like hollowed out. So the only way to get a decent looking, to make it look decent, is to have it this one side. Even if you have it this way, there's no way to show off the detail that's on the upper, uh, on the front. So like this has a helmet, it looks like at the sword being this way if this is truly a sword it looks like a sword and what I do love about it is that it's got like this blood groove going down the center of the blade and I guess these are supposed to be like serrated edges on both sides, which is pretty cool. So again, this is the only way that I could actually have this sword if I uh, in display because. That's just not going to look right. So, as far as I'm concerned with that, uh, Mattel, let's get that together because that no. The shield. Let's get into the very, very nicely detailed shield. This is absolutely fantastic. This is what brings this figure out to me for the shield. I'd have been happy with just a shield and another Havoc staff. Or something similar. Uh, that Maybe the Havoc staff with the spear at the end of it. That would have been great. But what really brings this figure out besides the shield is this armor and the hood. Now, I wish that the snake helmet was actually removable. Um, I don't think the snake helmet is removable at all. I think that's all one piece. But I do love it. 
So if I was to say what my favorite characters are of this line thus far, Snake Armor Skeletor is definitely going to take my number two position. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's one solid piece. But I definitely love the Cobra hood in the back to the front. And even the face sculpt, um, I, I'm not going to complain about that. It's, uh, it's not as pronounced as the 2000X, um, I guess, gorilla face Skeletor because he looks like he's got primate features in the bone structure. So, um, kind of looks cool figure, but the bone structure in that is... But I really absolutely love this armor. I have another one of these, and I will probably open that one as well and just get another one that I can keep uh, in package because I want to use this armor in particular for a customization figure. And of course, then once again, I also love the loincloth here. It's very intricate. Um, if you take a look at the middle part of the loincloth at the top, um, I want to say that that's supposed to be a picture of King Hiss, but it also very, very reminiscent to Hordak at the same time. But beginning, because of the snake armor that's on here, I know that this was from uh, King Hiss so that he could get control of Skeletor. So I know that backstory. Um, a little bit. So, again, fantastic work with this, uh, with the armament and the, the uh, helmet on Skeletor. Again, I wish it was able to come off. Um, I definitely really love these uh, boots. These boots are up to the knee uh, kneecap so it's a different look for Skeletor and I can't say enough good things about this um, there are there are a couple things that I will wind up doing a custom to on this figure particularly because I think he should have had some jewels here as you got the little ovals here on his kneecaps but other than that I'm not going to complain about this version of Skeletor. It's fantastic. Um, other than the sword, that's, that's my biggest gripe. Hollow on one side and looks wonderful on the other side. Um, again, the biggest thing that brought me to this character was seeing this particular shield. Look at that fabulous shield. That is Skeletor with fangs on the shield. I mean, that's literally right in your face. I love it. Which brings me to my last character, which is Tongue Lasher. He shares hands with Frogmonger. He shares legs with um, 
forget which legs, feet that he actually shares uh, the legs from. Uh, but I really love the hands. You got the hands there, three prong. So he's got the three fingers, just like Frogman, uh, Frogmonger, excuse me, Frogman. Um, and of course, I just love the way his snake staff fits in his hand. It looks amazing. I really like his dragon uh, dragonfly uh, bow, and you have to, for him to hold it really, really well, you have to put it in between the two prong and the one prong of his fingers, and kind of have it, I mean, you can, he'll hold it like that very nicely, but I find it looking very very nice to have it just up underneath his arm at the bicep to where it makes it look like he's really holding that and I've got his tongue going the opposite way to kind of make him look like he's getting ready to send his tongue out and swipe somebody with it to uh, hit him with that poison on, on his tongue I am going to say that I really do like the tongue and how they did Frogmonger. Frogmonger. I keep saying Frogmonger. Uh, tongue Lasher. Excuse me. His tongue is bendable, so it's very flexible. And. I really like that. I love the colorization on the tongue. The green and the yellow, uh, almost a bluish green to a mustard yellow hue, which is really cool. Now this particular figure to me is a wonderful figure of all of them and this is why he is my favorite all on this in this particular line first of all I love this head sculpt the teeth the blues and the purple on here uh, actually it's purple on purple it's a royal purple to a I don't know what kind of purple you'd call this, but it's purple on purple. It's dark purple on light purple. But it brings out them eyes so magnificently. It's scary. With the teeth on both sides. And it's absolutely fantastic. And when you add, when you add the tongue, even just holding the head, it's very cool. The other thing that I really like about this figure is he is so interchangeable. Like, quite literally, his breakdown. And why he would be such a perfect for customization. Chest and back legs feet and calves 
arms, wrists, biceps. hands, and of course his head. So if you absolutely wanted to go ahead and do a complete re-sculpt of a whole new snake man, you, 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 you the sky's the limit with them, um, or just even a different type of character altogether. So, once again, I've been doing this all night to kind of show what I was talking about. I hope somebody's gotten my reference. Uh, if not, I, I'm, I'm going to say right here, orange. 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 <laughs> orange. It's a darker orange, but it is orange. The whole wave. Orange. So I'm going to call this wave 13 orange. Um, it's pretty cool. And I, I, I found it. I don't think any other wave that's come across in a wave has all had the same color in it uh, as so profound as this particular wave. It's orange. Um, I didn't get into the particulars of Tongue Lasher's uh, Dragonfly crossbow. But even the crossbow has intricate design in it that I can absolutely say I love. Now, granted, on the back side, there's no intricacy except for this part in the tail. And I'm fine with that because I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not displaying that. I'm displaying this. And... If I want to hold, have him hold it to where it just looks like he's having it there, there's no problem with that because there is well I'm not going to display it like that. I'm going to display it in his hand just like this. So if you look down at it, you're seeing the display of the dragonfly. So um, I'm putting my figure back together now. I know not all of these figures Yeah, that's right. Uh, I know not all of these figures come apart like that. Uh, there's quite a few of them that do, but with the Snake Men in particular, I thought this particular breakdown for him was, uh, for Tongue Lasher, was absolutely magnificent to be able to break him down so much. that he is also so customizable, like literally from his head to his toes. And I absolutely love it. Now I will say that I love this line completely, uh, or this wave completely. Again, my biggest complaints, like I said, the skin tone on, well, just about everything on here I had a complaint about. Um, so I'll be doing some heavy customizations on this figure with the exception of the orange and yellow. Um, 
And again, I highly doubt I'm going to use this helmet at all. Um, and as far as this orange lollipop goes, uh, I'll probably find some extra weapons and uh, want to put those on them because cool, but mm, no. Great, you put a helmet to a figure, but uh, again, no. And I'm sure somebody's going to get mad at me for my depiction of that particular character. And that's fine. Uh, I'm welcome to my opinion just as well as you are. Uh, we can talk about it. Or, or not. <laughs> um, what's your favorite thing in Wave 12? as far as the figures go and I do actually also put his tongue in his uh, mouth to where the tongue is upwards because if you have it downwards it likes to get in between the uh, string of the bow on the dragonfly and I find that kind of annoying uh, plus, I think that looks like he's actually trying to strike out. Sorry. Been a very busy day. I'm quite tired. Um, with that being said, this is my number one favorite out of the wave. Number two favorite of the wave. Number three favorite of the wave. And although this is a great character, a great figure, there are just some things in particular, again, that I just did not like about this figure. Um, and maybe I'm petty for it, and maybe I'm not. But on the plus note, again... I would have been fine with this and this only. Maybe a spear or some other kind of something. The helmet and the lollipop. Nah. With Skeletor, Snake Armor, Skeletor. If the sword was really done how I think the sword should have been done, I, I mean, it, kind of looks like a I don't know what that sport is that you use the ball and the cup and the thing but yeah mm, no phenomenal Mattel thank you and with that being said good night everyone let me know uh, in the comments what you think and last and not least, if you like this kind of content, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, definitely leave a comment, as it definitely helps the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Good journey, and have a great night.